guys, it's Misty here from the Jolly Fed Elf. Welcome to my very first Christmas card of the 2017 holiday season. I am so stinking excited. If you do not have a demonstrator and you have not received the holiday catalog, please be sure to um, follow the link in the description box down below. I'd love to be your demonstrator and to get you a catalog. If you're one of my customers, you should have already received it. And if you need one, just let me know. So I am going to be using my favorite bundle from this catalog called the Snowflake Sentiments Bundle. And I'm going to be doing my favorite color combo, which you guys know for Christmas is aqua and red, more specifically pool party and um, real red. So I'm going to be using these two dies from the stamp set, or excuse me, from the bundle, and I'm going to be using a piece of the Quilted Christmas. Um, here I am showing you that I'm going to be giving away a kit to someone who lives in the U.S., and the finished card to someone who is international. So if you will head over to my blog, to the coordinating blog post, and you will find all the information for you to enter, and the only thing you need to do is be a subscriber to this channel. So in this video, I will be decorating the inside and I will be decorating envelopes. I think that's what I'm gonna do on Mondays. Last year I did mass producing Monday, but this year I think I wanna decorate insides and envelopes. So I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna be using some pool party ink and some real red ink. First, I'm gonna go ahead and um, juice up my stamp and scrub. You guys know me and red ink. It will be everywhere. <laughs> So I have a pool party card base here that measures five and a half by eight and a half. I've scored it at five and a quarter. I use the largest and the next to largest stitch circles from the stitch shape framelits. And then I will have the rest of the measurements over on the blog. You can print the recipe that will have the supplies in the dimensions. I'm going to be using the shimmer ribbon, the pool party shimmer ribbon, and the new mini um, tinsel ribbon. So again, I'm gonna start by stamping the inside of my card layer. This measures four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna start by stamping the snowflakes using the Pool Party ink. And then I am gonna stamp the sentiment using the Real Red ink. I had to make sure that it was straight um, because the sentiment is pretty big. After I stamped that, I'm gonna put that to the side to dry and I'm gonna bring in my envelope so I can stamp these snowflakes on the envelope. I'm gonna start on the bottom left-hand corner with two pool party snowflakes. I'm gonna turn it over and do one pool party snowflake on the flap and then I'm gonna to switch to real red. You can just see me cleaning my stamps off on the other side. I really love the snowflakes. I think they're really, really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this sentiment that says, I think it's Merry Christmas from our house to yours or our family to yours. And I love this sentiment and I love this font and it just looks so pretty, um, excuse me, so pretty in real red. So I'm gonna put all this to the side. That way it doesn't get ruined. Again, me, red ink, not a good, not a good combination. And I'm gonna bring in my papers and my Big Shot. Now, for this border die, you will not need the precision base plate, but you will need the precision base plate for this um, snowflake die. I initially did it without it, and it just didn't work. I couldn't get it out without almost ripping it. So make sure you do that. I'm just gonna line this up. I love this gingham. This pattern is from the Quilted Christmas designer series paper stack. Everything will be linked down below. And of course the new holiday items don't go live until September 1st. Speaking of September 1st, that's the date of my Stampin' Jamma party. If you would like to join us, just head over to the Facebook group, which is another link you'll find down below. We're gonna have some, play some games. I'm gonna do some crafting with you guys live. And then we are going to um, just have a fun time. So you can see that stitching detail on that. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna show you in just a second the sandwich that you're gonna need for the precision base plate. If you have the new platform, it's the platform, the thin die adapter, the precision base plate, then your paper, and then a cutting pad. If you have the old base plate, you're gonna have that on tab two. And if you have a big shot, that makes complete sense. <laughs> so here it is. In hindsight, I would have used the 
Sizzix adhesive sheets to cut this out and going forward you'll see me do that because this was so it's so delicate it's really hard to get it um, down it, without making a mess I mean you probably could you could use the precision not the precision the fine glue tip um, fine tip glue misty word slow down but I um, I don't have one I haven't replaced the one that I ran out of so I did this and this worked I used an adhesive eraser afterwards to get rid of the adhesive but um, you'll see a card on Wednesday where I used those adhesive sheets and it was not in day honey not and day. So I'm going to go ahead and finish adhering this down and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue in the places that were coming up and then I'm going to get ready to add this to my card base. Before I do that I'm going to go ahead and adhere the inside card panel. I'm just going to be using snail for that. Um, we're going to be adding the card panel to our card using some dimensional adhesive on the outside. You'll see that in just a second. Just make sure your sentiment is going the right way. <laughs> you guys know me. I would have done that. Probably so. And this is when I realized that I didn't cut a layer. I was like, ah, I need a layer. So I cut down this extra piece of pool party down to four by five and a quarter. And that's where I'm going to build my focal panel. So I'm going to adhere this using some snail. Isn't that cute paper? I love the paper. It's so cute. The whole suite is cute, but I talked about how me and pattern blocks just don't mix. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with it though. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to cut off the edges and then I'm going to use some washi tape to add our ribbon and our trim. You guys have seen me do this before. It's just easier than scotch tape. I lose scotch tape. I always have washi tape around because I, I'm a planner. And if you haven't joined or if you haven't signed uh, blah, 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 subscribe to that channel, that's Planning with the Elf. You can subscribe by clicking the picture in the end slate. So I'm just going to add this with some washi tape and then I'm going to put the red trim on top. This little mini tassel trim is so cute. Comes in a two pack with silver. So, so pretty. I can't wait to use it on a million things. And it's really easy to use. I thought it was going to be a little rough, but it's not. I really, really love it. So once I get that down, I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back. I'm going to put a ton. And the reason for that is this card is going to make its way overseas. And I want to make sure that it stays together on its journey. So yeah, I can't send Stampin' Up! products overseas, but I can send finished cards. And that's why I'm giving away the card to someone internationally and the kit to someone locally. So I'm just going to adhere this to the card base. Then I'm going to attach the circles together also using Stampin' Dimensionals. You really need a tough glue for this. Um, it, snail won't work. You really need either Fast Fuse, Tear and Tape, or Dimensionals to adhere to the glimmer paper. You're going to want to stock up on red glimmer paper for this holiday season. Um, it's going to be so much fun. There's so many ways that you can use it. I'm going to try to show you several. So there I'm showing you how I'm going to adhere that. I considered a bow but decided against it. I wanted the sentiment to really pop, especially with this glimmer paper. Well, I'm going to put this down, but you guys know me. It's probably a little over too far, so I'm going to pull it back up and scoot it over just a tad. And then I'm going to add the white to it. And that's when I decided that I wanted to add some Winka Stella to the white um, to bring in a little bit more shimmer. Plus there are snowflakes. They're supposed to be glittery and shimmery. So I'm going to add Winka Stella and that's going to be it, guys. I will have everything linked down below. Again, the Christmas stuff won't go live until September 1st. If you need a catalog, make sure you send me a message. Join the Facebook group for... Um, my Stampin' Jamma party and give this video a thumbs up if you're ready for the holidays. See you tomorrow. Bye for now. <music>